Hey, what's up? I'm Max. I'm the content creator for Amrad. Today, I'm showing you how to set up an interview in a real world scenario. And at the end of the video, we're doing a light giveaway. So make sure to stick around for that. Let's get into the setup. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Today, we're shooting an interview with an artist in the arts district here in downtown LA. You might even see a little bit of the behind the scenes on the back to set shoot over on Apogee's channel. You can watch that over here. Follow me, let's go check out the space. So here we are in this beautiful loft upstairs from the main BTS shoot. There's a lot of natural light coming in through these windows, a lot of textures to play with. It's very like Fight Club-esque, I would say. Um, we really like this angle over here. And we're rocking an EOS R for the interview shot, have a couple Amaran lights. So let's see what it looks like. So here's a shot that I like. If you take a close look at this, it's pretty underexposed right now but it is a beautiful angle, especially with that soft lighting hitting her through the window. But I think we can do a little bit better. We've got this at 70%, 5,500 Kelvin, trying to mimic that daylight that's coming through the windows. Now we've got a nice key on the left side of her face. We could leave it like this. That's a very dramatic look with the deep shadows, but I think we can also add in a little bit of fill and see what that looks like as well. So we're gonna go check out what this 100X looks like. Kind of like a rim light, a little bit of a fill. We've got this on 5,500 Kelvin as well, on 100%. Now, I've also got them linked up to Citus, so while I'm previewing this, I can adjust everything on the fly. So there it is with the rim light off, and here it is with it on, and here it is with the rim light off. Now, this is subjective on which one you like better. I like it with more of just the shadows on the side of her face. We ended up having a break for lunch because we were working on the back to set shoot. This is a perfect example of how things don't always go as you planned when you're making content. You gotta be ready to adapt. With that said, we came back at night and reset the shop for kind of a grungy night interview. First things first, we need a key light. We've got a 200X over there. We're going to control it with Sidus Link. We can do it all wirelessly through your phone. We'll see what the key light looks like and go from there. Striking, which is another film term. I'll pop that up right there for the definition for you. Striking. We've got it on an intensity of 36%. And we'll kind of play around there and maybe mess around with the white balance too. If we look at Kim, right now it's at 3200 Kelvin. That's very close to tungsten. It's pretty warm. We can go all the way up to 6,500 Kelvin. Now remember, lighting, art, and your own style, it's all subjective. When we're shooting something in the evening like this, I like a warmer look. So I ended up going back to 3,200 Kelvin. And don't forget, set your camera to a manual white balance as well. And make sure that your Kelvins match between your lights and your camera. Next, we kicked off the work light we were using to set up the shot. And I want you to see exactly what difference each light makes. Here's just the key light with the Rembrandt style style shadow. Next, we kicked on the edge light to help separate Kim from the background. Right after that, we kicked on the COB60 as a nice fill light to soften those shadows. This looks great just with the key light, a little bit of a fill, an edge light, but I'd love to add some color into the background as well. So we got a P60C pointed into that corner over there. These P60C panels are perfect for the job, but you might even be able to get away with one of those Aperture MCs. You have so many color options with these panels and you can have a lot of fun with them. Before we get to the final test recording, let me show you exactly what each light does. The last thing I wanna worry about is the audio. So we're gonna pop this lav onto her collar and see what it sounds like and get a little test recording. Hi guys, my name is Kim. I'm a Los Angeles based artist and today I'm gonna to walk you through my process in the studio. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I would say that the key takeaways you should grasp are that a key light is your most primary source of light. Your edge light helps cut you out from the background. And your fill light helps soften the shadows on the side of your face. And a lot of this is subjective and there's room for your own creative expression. If you just want to use one key light and have dramatic shadows, go for it. This is an art form. Also, if you're watching this video and telling yourself, I can't afford these lights, just start with window light and go up from there. We'll even show you a tutorial of how to do that over on our TikTok. So make sure and follow that. And if you stuck around for the giveaway, we're putting the instructions on the screen right now. Make sure to like and subscribe because we're going to have another giveaway in the next video and you don't want to miss that. So I'll see you soon. Good luck and stay creative.